As part of the 25-year celebrations for Parliament House, a new book has been launched about this iconic building. It gives readers a behind-the-scenes look at how its commissioned art and craft collection was created. Interwoven tells the story of how these many works of art and craft were integrated into the design of Parliament House, which opened in 1988. Author Pamil Berg was the Art and Craft Program Coordinator for Parliament House. I was a member of the original design team for the competition for the design of Parliament House back in our firm's offices in New York and Philadelphia. So that was all the way back in uh, 1979. And as a member of that design team, I was already at that stage working with Romaldo Jurgula in projects in the States and also in Europe where artists were involved directly in creating works of art which were integral to the architecture, not add-ons. So at the end of the design competition, I was one of the members of that original team who came out to Australia to form the core of the architectural team that then documented and oversaw the design intent during construction. The book aims to honour and make more widely known the artworks which are such an integral part of the building's architecture. I think what's important about the wealth of site-specific public art in the building, and of course what that means is that they weren't works that were just bought and placed on the wall or bought and put in a corner, but rather they were works that were designed from the very moment of their beginning for a particular place in the building. What's important about that is that actually it extends not just to the traditional works of art that you would expect to see, like paintings and sculptures and maybe a few textiles, but rather so many parts of the fabric of the building are also commissioned works of art. So when members of the public come into the main public foyer, if they walk up to the two marble staircases and they reach over and touch the organic forms which are at the lowest points of both of the rails of the stairs. Those are called finials and they are hand fabricated, hand carved marble finials by a Sydney female sculptor. So the book has been commissioned by the parliamentary departments uh, from me as a, a documentation of this amazing work that was done so that people really understand what was accomplished in this phase of the buildings coming to be. Former member of the parliamentary committee that oversaw the building's construction, Stephen Dubois, is still in awe of its artwork. I think that's one of the, the great openers when you come to Parliament House to see that mosaic and then to come into the building itself and to see all the beautiful uh, stonework and the, uh, the timber it's just, you know, a, a great place, a very inspirational place. Yes, it, uh, it's exactly what we envisaged. Everywhere you look throughout the building, there are whole suites of furniture which have been designed and hand fabricated by craftspeople so that it really is a, a speaking out, a layering of meaning and content within the actual workspace. It's not just beautiful things on the walls. And there are so many of those kinds of works. The book launch was attended by many of the original artists and designers involved. Interwoven can be purchased from the Parliament House gift shop in Canberra. For more information on the work of the House of Representatives and its committees, ring free call number 1800 139 299. To stay informed, you can order a free subscription to the About the House magazine by ringing the same free call number 1800 139 299. Website links to Parliament and all the House committees can be found at www.aph.gov.au forward slash ATH.